Peter, watch this. Dude, what did you do? What did I do? What did you let me do? Where's my hand? I have to go get someone. Dude, we have powers. We're superheroes. We're freaks. We need to go get costumes. Well, now that we're superheroes, I figure we can come get some inspiration from comic books. Okay, give me a second. Can you believe there's not one single comic book in here? You figured they have a lot considering the popularity of the comic books. I got another idea. Here you go. Where'd you get these? Well, actually, there's a lot of comic book stores in Lakeland, so I just picked one. Gavin, doesn't everything look a bit odd to you? What was that for? Did you see that? See what? That. Did you see this? Oh. It's not fun, is it? No, but this art style is. Everything really pops out. You know, Peter, being a superhero is cool and all, but where are our bad guys? Bad guys? Yes, every single superhero has a villain. Where's our villain? What? Sushimi. Do you know Japanese? I'm fluent in sushi. This superhero stuff is tough. Well, you know what they say. With great power comes great visibility. It's responsibility. I've heard it both ways. Oh. Let's go save the world. Now why you gotta run so fast, Peter? You know I can't do that? started out as friends. And while they had their differences, their friendship never wavered. Now, as seniors in high school, Peter and Gavin will take on a new challenge. Listen up class, there's a very important test coming up and every senior must pass it if you want to graduate. If I catch any one of you cheating on this test, you are out. You realize what this means, right? can't win this one. Whatever, man. For Peter, studying was the answer. But Gavin had other plans. But as testing day approaches, one friend will cross the line. Enough! You two are suspended. Facing suspension with graduation on the line. Peter! Their friendship on the ropes. Will Gavin do the right thing? Sir, you're in enough trouble already. But it wasn't his fault. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's all you got. It was taken care of. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about you? This school year. Give him one more chance. Why? Because he got me one. Two friends. You better be ready. We will be, sir. Hey, Hawthorne. We'll face. You got me another chance. I got you. The ultimate test. But no cheating. I don't think I'm ready for this test. Then we study together. Peter Perez. You want to ace this test, you got to work hard for it. Gavin Hawthorne. Dude, let's go. Can't do it, I got to study. And time. I think you're ready. Ignition TV Productions presents. Begin. The 
test. Coming soon to a school near you. Titan the Terrible. Peter, the only thing terrible is that name and this outfit. This is not your ordinary 5K run. There's gonna be all kinds of things and this gear is not gonna help you. You're not gonna be able to run, crawl, swim. Swim? Yes, yeah, swim. We got all kinds of things to go through. There's all kinds of mud pits and moats and volcanoes. Volcanoes? Okay, maybe not volcanoes, but this is not gonna help you. Take off this silly get up and put these on. We gotta run. Let's do this thing. Five K runs are a popular activity for adrenaline junkies. 3.2 miles in length, these can be extremely tiring if you are not prepared. This barbaric theme was designed to wear you out before you got to the first obstacle. To name just some of the obstacles, one of them being Pipeline. Alcatraz. Then we have Warrior Roast. And my favorite, the Mudslide. Done. And exhausted. 
exhausted because as you can see, this was not your normal run. Our speed, strength, stamina, and our teamwork were tested throughout the race. And the best part about this is the little warriors that this run goes to help because part of the proceeds of the dash goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital for all the little kids to gain their strength and become warriors. If you'd like to run a warrior dash, visit warriordash.com for information. And now we feast. Blight warriors. What do warriors eat again? Blood, meat, hearts. How about Wendy's? That works too. Let's go, let's go, let's do it. Since 1916, the Lakeland Fire Department has protected and served the city of Lakeland. These firefighters are brave souls willing to put everything on the line for our safety. Their lives revolve completely around protecting us at moment's notice. So today, Peter and I are living the life of a firefighter. A lot of people think all firefighters do is fight fires, but most of their spare time is spent on standby. And during that time, there is still plenty to do. So while we didn't actually get a chance to fight fires, we did get to see their routine at the station. Washing trucks is something that they do every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. After that, we went to the workout room to get our grind on. Then we got to put the gear on ourselves. Peter and I are suited up and ready to go. A lot of people call these fire suits, but in reality, it's called bunker gear. It's also a common mistake to think that these suits are fireproof, when in actuality, they're just fire resistant, giving the firefighters enough time to get in and out safely. It takes more than hard work and determination to make a firefighter. It takes the right equipment. And the Lakeland Fire Department has all of the tools you could ask for. Anything to everything they need to save, extinguish, and to control the situation. Medical equipment such as CPAP, trauma kits, and much more. The extrication equipment, new battery operated tools like the Jaws of Life. Then of course the hosing. They have all different sizes, some to mention 3 inches and 5 inches. As you can see, being a firefighter is a heavy task. Lots of organization, teamwork, and preparation takes place before these brave souls burst into action. So many men and women work day in and day out to keep us safe. So next time you see a fireman on the street or at an event, remember, stop them and thank them for their service. Hey Gavin, quick one-on-one -on -one before we gotta go? Sure, let's go. Let's go. Guys, we gotta call. We gotta go. We gotta call? Yep. 